If you're an entrepreneur or business trying to market to your customers and make a mistake like this, and this happens, You could jeopardize your customer loyalty and ultimately your brand reputation. In this video, you will learn about Grubhub's May 17th free lunch disaster that shook the food delivery industry in New York and why you should never, ever, ever overpromise and under deliver to your customers. I will also teach you how to manage promises to your customers without jeopardizing your brand's reputation. Welcome to Branded Like a Pro. I'm your brand guy, Dennis Botang. And this channel is all about the ins and outs of brands and the process of branding to help launch your ideas or business. So if you're interested, make sure that you subscribe and hit the like button for more content like this. Also, let me know below in the comments what your favorite food delivery service is. All right, so let's get into this. Grubhub, a pioneer of one of the first online food delivery platforms, launched a marketing campaign with a huge promise by offering a free lunch promo in New York and of course it went haywire and was a complete and total disaster they promised free lunch between the hours of 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. on May 17th and according to eater.com that promotion of course came with some terms like lunch isn't really free but discounted by $15 with the promo code free lunch or that users will remain responsible for any applicable tax fees and optional tip. Now, of course, with all the unfortunate events as of late, like the rising food prices and food insecurity nationwide, Grubhub appears to have underestimated the popularity of alluring people with the prospect of quote unquote, free food. The whole rollout was a mess. Not only did the app and website both begin crashing and glitching minutes into the promotion with their servers being overloaded with over 6,000 orders per minute, but this sounds like a Nike sneaker app drop day to me. Of course, with all the problems, including rejected payments and error message prompts and five plus hour late deliveries all in the middle of New York lunchtime rush, restaurants deactivated themselves off the app and users quickly turned to Twitter, which in this case turned really, really bad for Grubhub. The disastrous promo even forced restaurants to throw out thousands of meals. Now, in terms of branding, your brand represents a promise to your customers. Make sure you know what yours is. Grubhub champions restaurants from coast to coast with over 715,000 daily orders, 5 billion in tips for drivers, and 32 million diners. They're not only providers to direct consumers, but to businesses as well. They state that restaurants sit at the heart of communities. It's our mission to strengthen their roots, deepen their connections, and increase the positive impact they have on people in society. May 17th's event showed the total opposite of their mission. Your brand communicates to your customers what you stand for. The best brands make it a promise to their customers and uphold that promise. Now, you may be good at getting customers in the door of your business. However, getting them to stick around and do return business is much more difficult. If you have customer loyalty problems like Grubhub, your entire brand and reputation may be at stake. <laughs> this is the time when branding can help you strategically align customers experience with your brand promise to manage the promise you make to your customers, whether it be in your mission or vision or in a marketing ad customer experience should not be happening in your business by accident. It's so important for your brand to manage promises to your consumers in a special way without jeopardizing your brand's reputation and building loyal and repeat customers. If you're looking to rebrand or start a brand from scratch, but need help so you stay true to who you are and learn how to make promises that you can meet, then click the link below to get our free branded like a pro branding roadmap to help brand your businesses or your idea like a pro. The best brands invest the time to design their customer experiences from start to finish, which even includes making sure your platforms, systems, and partnering businesses can handle the promises you're making. Obviously, Grubhub did not do a good job investing the time into this. 
As Maya Angelou says in her famous quote, I've learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you make them feel. Grubhub left thousands of people hangry. I mean, hungry on their lunch break in New York City of all places. If I was one of the partnering businesses on the app, I will probably never return. Strategic branding considers your customer's journey with your company and will identify the most important touch points. Delivering a wow experience. whenever possible will turn your customer into brand advocates you will have a loyal base that will not only return but will recommend your business to their friends and family or do the total opposite and unrecommend and tarnish your brand just by word of mouth which can happen at the speed of light now with the internet and social media now, if you're one of those businesses in New York or anywhere in the US looking to do business elsewhere in terms of delivery platforms, DoorDash is a great option. They are committed to helping you reopen your business, reach more and new customers in your area. They are not just for restaurants either. DoorDash helps you with business in your neighborhood. They are looking for restaurants, groceries, alcohol, convenience, and flower shops, and even pet stores to register their business with DoorDash. Now, if you are a business that falls into one of these categories, click the link below in the description to join DoorDash today. <laughs> Let me do that again. Join DoorDash today. That was probably a whack wink. <laughs> They are helping small businesses thrive. Their five-year, 200 million Main Street Strong Pledge has aided tens of thousands of independent restaurants. Even better, the odds of staying in business are eight times better for restaurants on DoorDash compared to all U.S. restaurants. Now, it's still possible for Grubhub to regain trust of its consumers, but it may take a while. If you're a Grubhub consumer or current DoorDash user, but don't see your favorite local store or restaurants on the platform so you can order any of your needs at any moment from anywhere, then share this video and the link to DoorDash down in the description with that business and have them sign up today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and to leave your questions or comments below. To see more videos like this one, subscribe and click the bell icon now. Be sure to click to watch the next video. I'm your brand guy, Dennis Botang, and this is Branded Like a Pro. Catch you later. Peace.